Hi, my name's Carly and welcome to a special edition of Be Positive, the TV show made here at the Royal Children's Hospital. You may have heard about coronavirus or COVID-19 and today we're going to learn a little bit about it, what it is and what we can do to help stop the virus from spreading. Lots of people have questions about COVID-19. If you have a question, it's a great idea to ask an adult. Jazz was feeling a little worried and confused about COVID-19, so she asked Dr. Mike some questions. Hello. Hi, Dr. Mike, this is Jazz calling. Hi, Jazz. Dr. Mike, I know you're a doctor who looks after kids and I'm calling you today because I'm feeling a little bit worried and confused about COVID-19. Jazz, it's okay to feel worried. Lots of people are. When you feel worried, it's a good idea to speak to an adult. Learning about it can help you feel better. Do you have any questions to ask me? What is COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 is a virus. It's kind of like a cold. Some people who get it won't feel sick at all. Some people will get a fever and a cough and a runny nose or sore throat. And some people, usually older people, might get more sick. I've heard people call it coronavirus. Why does it have two names? COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Infectious Disease 2019. So coronaviruses cause infections every year, but this is a new, more serious infection that started at the end of last year. Will I get COVID-19? If kids get it, they might not feel sick at all or they might just have a bit of a cold and they should get better after a week or so. What about my family? Will they get sick? I'm really worried about my grandparents. Well, Jazz, older people can find it hard to fight the virus. Uh, Most people who get the virus will have to stay home and rest. And if they do get really sick and need more help, they can go to a hospital. So what can I do to help stop the COVID-19 virus from spreading? You can help by being a germ buster. Cool, a germ buster. What's a germ buster? Well, a germ buster is someone who can stop germs from moving from one person to another person. What can I do to be a germ buster? Germs live on your hands, so it's important to wash them before you eat, after blowing your nose, after you cough, after you sneeze, and of course after you go to the bathroom. You must wash your hands with soap and water. You should cough and sneeze into a tissue and then throw it in the bin and wash your hands. And you can also cough and sneeze into your elbow. Kind of like dabbing. Just like dabbing. Jazz, do you know how long you should wash your hands for? I do, I do. 20 seconds and I sing happy birthday when I wash my hands. You've got to try and keep your hands away from your face and your mouth and your eyes and your nose. Remember, germs live on your hands and we don't want them to get into our body. And instead of visiting your friends and family, you could talk to them on the phone, just like we are now, or talk to them on a video call. And if you're feeling sick, Jazz, make sure you tell an adult. I'm going to be a germ buster. I'm going to wash my hands with soap and water, keep my hands away from my face, say hello to people with a wave, Talk to my grandparents, friends and family on the phone and I'm going to tell an adult if I'm sick. You are going to be a super germ buster, Jazz. Thanks, Dr Mike. I've heard that we need to be social distancing. What does social distancing mean? What it means is that you need to keep 1.5 metres away from other people and that's about five rulers. This sounds a bit gross, but if someone sneezes without covering their nose... Their snot might land on you if you are too close to them. But if you stand 1.5 metres away, you won't get it on you and you won't get sick. So if I need to be social distancing, does this mean I can't see my friends? You can speak to your friends on the phone or see them on a video call or something. Remember, we need to be germ busters. So it's best to keep your distance at the moment to stop the germs from spreading. Does this also mean I can't go to my dance class? I love dancing. Well, Jazz, I bet you're a great dancer. But unfortunately, all activities like dancing and footy and uh, going to play centres and all that sort of stuff, they're all taking a break for a little while. 
People are saying we need to stay at home and only go out if we really, really need to. Is this true? Yes, Jez, that's right. You should only really go outside to get some exercise with your family or if you need to go to the doctor. The adults looking after you can worry about other things like going out to get food and getting things that you really need. Staying at home for a long time can sometimes be a bit tricky. It's a really good idea to plan your day. It's a great idea to have a routine. The adults looking after you can help you with this. My mum told me that when she went to the shops the other day, there was no toilet paper or my favourite food. Are we going to run out of things like this? The people at the supermarkets are working really hard to make sure the shelves are full of food and toilet paper and everything else we need. And you know what? We all need to look after each other. There's enough to go around, so we just need to buy what we need. Will it be like this forever? No, Jazz, definitely not. People all over the world are working really, really hard to fight this thing. Things will go back to normal eventually. It might just take a little while. Sometimes I see things on the news that make me sad and worried. Jazz, if you're feeling sad, worried or confused about things, the best things to do is to ask the adults who are looking after you. Dr Mike, thanks for listening to me and answering my questions. Jazz, if you or any other child need someone to talk to, you can always call Kids Helpline anytime for any reason on 1800 551 800 or you can go to their website kidshelpline.com.au Thanks Dr Mike for chatting to me today. I'm going to go and video call Rocco. Catch you later. Bye Jazz. Dr Mike had some really great ways to help stop the spread of COVID-19 and you can be a super germ buster just like Jazz by washing your hands keeping your hands away from your face and staying 1.5 metres away from other people. And if you're feeling a little sick, it's really important to tell an adult. And you might need to have a COVID-19 test just like Isla. Hi everyone, my name is Isla. You might have heard that there's a virus going around called COVID-19 that can make people feel sick. Last week I was feeling a little sick. I had a fever, sore throat, and a bit of a cough. So I went to the Royal Children's Hospital to have a special test done. I waited a little while. Isla? And then Chelsea, my nurse, took me to another room. She was wearing some strange things called personal protective equipment, or PPE for short. She wore a gown to cover her clothes, a mask to cover her mouth and nose, a shield of glasses to cover her eyes, and gloves to cover her hands to protect herself in case I had the COVID-19 virus and help keep me safe from germs too. Underneath all the PPE is my friendly nurse, Chelsea. First, Chelsea checked my temperature. Sounds like little birdies, doesn't it? And measured my heartbeat. And then we went to another room for the test. I sat on the green chair and Mum sat next to me. I held mum's hand, kept my chin up, stayed very still, took a big deep breath to help me feel calm and then Chelsea used a long fluffy stick to touch my tonsils, the back of my throat. It felt a little bit tingly. I sat on mum's lap for the next part. Mum gave me a big hug, stayed very still, I took a big deep breath to help me feel calm and then Chelsea used a long fluffy stick to take some snot out of one nostril. Now we'll do the other side, okay? And then the other. This felt a bit tingly and made my eyes water a little. Now put the special stick in the bag and it goes to the lab. Now to go home, stay inside until I get my test results. Bye. See ya. Are you still a little confused about what PPE is? Well, so was Jazz. 
So she had a chat to Nurse Karina to find out more. Hi, Karina. Oh, hi. I'm not sure who you are under all that stuff. It's me, Karina Jazz. Oh, Jazz, why are you wearing all of that? Well, I'm wearing these things to protect me and other people from germs. Mm, OK, Jazz, but those things won't really stop the germs from spreading. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, you're an expert on infections and germs. What do people who work at the hospital do to stop germs from spreading? Well, there's lots of things, Jazz. Like washing our hands and using hand rub. But also at the hospital, we've got special equipment called personal protective equipment, or PPE for short. Germs can actually stick to your clothes and skin. So the doctors and nurses may need to wear a gown to cover their clothes, a mask to cover their nose and mouth, a shield or glasses to cover their eyes, and gloves to cover their hands. We wear the PPE to help stop the germs from spreading. It looks a bit strange when you can't see someone's mouth or nose or they have a gown on. Yes, it's not how we normally dress, but sometimes we have to wear these special things to help keep everyone safe. So, PPE is kind of like how firefighters wear special clothes and a helmet to stay safe in a fire? It's a little bit like that, Jazz. We put the PPE on before we go into a patient's room to protect ourselves and others, and then we take it off straight after we leave. So, underneath the gown, glasses, mask and gloves are just doctors and nurses. Yeah, that's right. I think all the PPE are just super friendly people here at the hospital looking after you. Oh, that's good to know. I was wondering who was underneath all that stuff. Thanks for chatting to me today about PPE, Karina. You're welcome, Jazz. Bye. Bye. That's all we have time for today. I have learned so much about COVID-19 and I hope you have too. And remember, it's super important to be a germ buster to help stop the spread of COVID-19. And if you're in the hospital and like to be a part of our show, just ask the child life therapist on your ward or send us an email. I'm Carly. Thanks for watching. Be positive.